G'day everyone, today is the 8th of January 2023 and I'm an hour and a half east of the Melbourne CBD at the Mornington Tourist Railway. Today at Mornington they are welcoming back their steam locomotive K163 to active service after a two year overhaul. In this video we're going to take a look around the railway, the locomotive and everything there is to do and see out here. So come along and we'll get into it. So to begin, I guess we'll start at the start. The railway is located on the former Mornington Line, and this line was opened in 1889. A branch line that comes off at Baxter, which is on the Stony Point Line south of Frankston on the Melbourne Suburban Network. A myriad of passenger, freight and special services ran to Mornington for 92 years until 1981 when the line closed. However, the Mornington Railway Preservation Group was formed and they began restoring K163 which then started operating heritage services on the Victorian Main Line from 1988. The MRPS did run a passionate but ultimately unsuccessful campaign to save the original Mornington Station and run the railway after the VR service was suspended in 1981. As a side note, the line was never formally closed, although the line between Nepean Highway and Mornington was removed in 1991. And the section was sold off to developers before the MRPS was issued with an order in council to operate the line in the early 90s. In 1999, the infrastructure at Mornington Station was demolished with a shopping centre being erected on the site. Nowadays, there is a small reminder at the shopping centre of the former Mornington Station. In the beginning, they did run passenger trolley rides on the branch line before the rolling stock was transferred from HMAS Cerberus to Murraduck in 1997, with the line then opening, and it's been the same ever since. And today the line runs just over 5 kilometres from Mooraduck to Mornington with a quick stop at Tanty Park or the Mornington Racecourse. The station at Mornington is a simple one, and of course is not the original. It's just a loop for the locomotive to run around its train. The branch line is also isolated from the main line, cut off at Mooraduck by the highway, although they do hope that they can reconnect the line to Baxter and be able to run trains further than they currently can, but that might be a few years away. Their current project is upgrading the line, with help from a donation of concrete sleepers from the Level Crossing Removal Project. The railway's main headquarters and yard is located at Mooraduck Station. The station is home to all their rolling stock, ongoing restoration projects, like the saloon car Melville, which had recently had a fresh coat of paint applied on the weekend that we visited. As well as a number of other Victorian railway carriages in various stages of restoration. And they have some very interesting items in their collection, like carriages from the former South Gippsland Railway, four-wheel workman vans, and other assorted freight wagons. They also have some interesting infrastructure from around the state, like the footbridge from North Fitzroy and the signal box it used to be at Somerton. They even have a 70-foot turntable from Ye in their collection. Now on the day that we went, like I said at the start of the video, it was the return of the 1941-built K163, which had undergone a major overhaul over the last two years at the Newport Railway Workshops in Melbourne. 
and what a great job the volunteers have done. And it's great to see this locomotive be around for a long time to come. <laughs> They also have a couple of other K classes, K177 and 159, which are under long-term restoration, as well as a couple of diesels, T334, 411 and W241, all of which run trains along the line. Now, if you're planning on heading out to Mornington to ride this great little railway, it's very easy to get to by car, and it's only a little over an hour from the centre of Melbourne. Trains run each Sunday of the month and Wednesdays during Victorian school holidays, between Mooraduck and Mornington. And I'll leave all their links to social media and their website in the description below so you can find out more details. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any feedback, don't forget to leave it in the comments. And of course, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I've got coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uru.